from the Fox 29 studios, this is Good Day Philadelphia. If you have ever re-gifted or thought about re-gifting, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, we know. A recent survey apparently says 68% of people say they have re-gifted, and a New York Times article says it's no longer considered tacky, but a thoughtful and sustainable way to shop. So there are some etiquette mistakes you want to make sure you avoid when re-gifting. Etiquette expert Marianne Parker joins us now with more. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Shana. How, how are you? I'm doing well. How was your holiday? I hope everything was, was spectacular. Was wonderf wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So re-gifting, it's not a bad thing anymore. People are saying it's okay, but there are ways you should do this, right? To make it effective and not tacky. Definitely, because especially now, re-gifting becoming more of the norm. Uh, people are more budget uh, conscious and uh, re-gifting is perfectly fine. So the rules of etiquette are, the, first of all, we have to make sure that we don't have the wrong intentions. What I mean by that is if we have, for example, two identical items in our closet, we don't want to give it away just because we want some space in our house. Always remember that the gift is not about you. It's about the recipient. Mm. Okay, so we're not just re-gifting because we don't <laughs> like it. They have we're to actually have exactly. like something that they want. All right, that makes yes. sense. Okay, now Definitely. you're also supposed to be, what, you're supposed to be classy and not re-gift to people who may know you're re-gifting? Um, at the same time, we have to make sure that we do not re-gift in the same social circle because remember that friends uh, share information, they post everything on Facebook, on social media, mm -hmm. even on TikTok, how you were talking about earlier. Uh, so we ha have to make sure that we do not re-gift in the same social circle because it can backfire and we will look really bad. Um, so there is a very th uh, thin line between being frugal and being cheap. <laughs> so we, don't, we want to be in the best way possible to present ourselves to, um, among our friends. Now, should we be re-gifting like, new items that haven't been opened or gently used? What, what's the etiquette surrounding <laughs> that? Well, this, this is a great question because usually people think that if something was gently used is um, just new, but it's actually under the category of being used. And here I have a very uh, nice candle, for example. I have several of these and I know I never used it and I know that my best friend loves candles. So this is a great um, way for me to give something that I might not need, but she will love. So it has to be new. Don't take something from your garage that you haven't used for two years and give it to somebody else because it is uh, simply disrespectful. Yeah. Well, and you also <laughs> shouldn't take something that says to Bill and leave the label on there when I give it to somebody else. Right. Yes, this is something that we really have to consider. Just make sure that you take away all of the little signs that this was a re-gift because, for example, I have a little package here. It's so cute. But on the note, it is my name, and I got this gift two years back. So if I give it <laughs> that way, people will know that this is not a new gift. Right. So rewrap it and make sure that you don't give something that was uh, given to you before uh, in the bad uh, wrapping paper. Now, in the age of COVID, what do you say about re-gifting food items like wine and different packages like that? Well, uh, for example, if I have something that was homemade and was given to me, first of all, uh, it is not only a bad etiquette, but today we do not know, uh, maybe, uh, we don't know what the ingredients are. Maybe somebody has an allergy or there is meat and the person that we are re-gifting to is a vegetarian. So this can be uh, really tricky. So do not re-gift uh, homemade food. But about champagne, about wine, this is a great idea. I have here um, a bottle that I might not use and I am going to give it to my friends, perhaps. So those are the items that you want to re-gift, maybe a box of chocolates or cookies. Always make sure that uh, they are fresh because sometimes even if it is a box of chocolates, we might assume that it's um, in, in, in a good condition, but it's old. So always make sure that you don't look cheap and you have a very good intentions. I feel like you just saved us from looking really tacky. Yes. So thank you for spending some time <laughs> with us this morning. <laughs> thank you, Marianne. Happy thank holidays. Thank you so much for having me. Happy holidays. Thank you. you take care. Take care. Do people really do that? They give you stale old cookies, cookies that say to Bill. To Bill. And I'll just pass it off to somebody else. Obviously, there's a rule because somebody did it. Yeah, that, that's trifling. That's <laughs> <laughs> Let's do better. We got to do better, guys. We can do better than that.